Well, hello there, humans, beast, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it. So welcome aboard the Love Train. Welcome back to channel indeed. We're going to be talking about gun depression today. And we're going to do that through the lens of the M103 and the Chieftain Mark VI, the Tier 10 uh, British Heavy. These are two tanks that have good turrets, but not in pervious to damage kind of turrets like a t32 and an st1 have which are very 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 tough to pen and really take uh, a hell of a lot of accuracy and luck to get through indeed the 4202 over there is a, a very good case in point of a tank that doesn't have a fantastic turret but is capable of still bouncing shots now, the key stat here that we're going to be talking about is gun depression. And gun depression makes up for a lot of the armor profile woes of tanks with light turret armor. The higher your tank is above the enemy, the more acute the angle and the less likely you are to get penned. The more red you get on your turret, basically. And the reason for this is pretty simple. Uh, gun depression allows tanks like the 103, like the 4202, like the Chieftain, to angle up and still get shots, despite the fact that, you know, their turrets are quite weak, because they are above the bad guys. It means that they're kind of played with a lot of care and a lot of opportunism. But what tank isn't? You've got to be able to get the tank a little bit above the bad guys, in the right position on the map at the right time and then work from there. And you can see Serb is now underneath the gun of this T-54. Look at the 54's turret when Serb looks in at it. Look at the red parts. They're above Serb. That's because the angles change dramatically when the tank is above you. And the same can be said for the Chieftain and the M103 and indeed that 4202. And as soon as you go below the bad guys, you're just going to get smashed. And this is why gun depression tanks quite often have turrets that people whinge and moan and bitch about. And yet when they're used correctly, they can be a lot tougher and a lot more uh, impervious to damage than you'd expect. And the M103 is a fantastic example of this because it's a tier 9 heavy tank that really takes a lot of thought and care to play. Uh, if it's done correctly, it can be a superbly effective vehicle in certain positions. And this is one of the key positions on any map uh, for a hull-down tank, for a, a gun depression hull-down tank, the middle section of this wonderful canyon map. As Sir progresses through the game, though, you're going to see that he has to play with an extraordinary amount of care and have a lot of good inbuilt game mechanics in his actual drive to be successful and you're going to see as it flattens out and he can rely less and less on his turret armor he looks for any and all ways to absolutely hide the lower part of his tank that chassis because the chassis is incredibly weak and this is something that needs to be talked about more often people drive tanks like the 103 and they say this is a bad tank because I can't deal with it as a heavy. But there are a lot more ways of driving a heavy tank than just rolling up like this IS-4 platoon is doing and being successful. What you really want to be doing with a heavy is utilizing the different skill sets that it brings to the table. And that means being able to hide the lower glacis in different situations and actually get shots off still. And you can see Serb is doing that. He's doing a, a semi side scope and he's trading damage for distance on this IS-4. And now he's in trouble because there are indeed two IS-4s in front of him. And he is trying to actually hide from one by getting behind the other. And it just doesn't work. Uh, he's doing his best. He's trying to minimize the amount of damage he receives. But at the same time, once you're in a tank like the M103 and you run out of positions, it is very, very, very tough to continue to output damage. But Serb's done a brilliant job with that. He's done a lot of damage and he has managed to manufacture a winning position for him and his team. <laughs> that IS-4 is so tough. So very, very tough. And a lot of playing a gun depression tank is actually farming the damage when you can 
and then just doing the best you can after that. It is very rare that you're going to find a situation where you just sit in the one position and do all your damage from there. Q Fizzy, who is running to the middle of Vignettes, and he is in a Chieftain Mark VI. Now, the Mark VI is a remarkable vehicle in that the turret is strong, apart from a huge weak point that you can see on the right-hand side of the turret as we look from the rear. The gun is very, very accurate. The Alpha is fine. But if you get hit on the top of the turret by any high-caliber HG shell, you are going to take a big chunk of damage. And it means that you have to drive it with even more care than you do an M103 when you're playing in Tier 10 matches. Uh, the 103 is very, very tough in and of itself, but the 103 with a Tier 10 match, it's, it's usually going to be up against guns that can go straight through the cheeks. And you can see that ST1 over there is an incredibly tough turret, turret to get through. So back to Fizzy, and let's have a look at the way he is really, really on edge here. He is not giving anyone easy shots at the top because as soon as that hatch gets hit, look at the 471, straight through the top of the hatch and straight through the top of the hatch and indeed hits the uh, the viewport there. And that's, that's why you're trying to keep this turret above the bad guys, but that IS-7 actually has a slight angle down, which is bad news for Fizzy. And it means Fizzy has got to be even more agile and pulling the tank back as soon as that IS-7 starts peaking. He has a lovely little bit of Hesh, though, which will go straight through the flat sides of that VK-45. And he's hungry for another one. Switches it up to the APCR, and someone else beats him to it. Which is scary, because that could have been Fizzy's damage as well. And Fizzy is going to do an arse load of damage regardless. Another Hesh round. Big damage. And he's already at nearly 2,200 damage. Look at the way, though, he is hiding the turret from everyone on his right, staying underneath that gun line and only popping up when it suits him. And that's a really, really important distinction to make. 613 Hesh roll into the back of that T-54. If he was unlucky not getting the kill on the VK, he certainly made up with it for some of the Hesh rolls that he's pumped into the flank. And still, his team is down a tank. So at some point... Fizzy is going to have to do some really hard yards here in the middle of the map going hull down. And there's the guy at the back that he's really worried about. That 183. If the 183 gets shots on top of him and lands a hatch shot, it will quite possibly be a 1600 damage hesh roll. But the 183 is really focused on the other parts of the map. Three on four now, and there's plenty of hit points left on the table, despite the fact Fizzy has done yeoman's work in the middle. 428. Pumps out again, 4,032 damage on the counter. And now the IS-7 pokes across. You can see another gun depression hull down heavy there. The T-110E5 doing work at the cap circle as well. Fizzy is doing really well here now. This is exactly what this tank was built for. That IS-7 is really struggling to get shots in and has to come across to actually get the shot. This is important because... That's exactly the problem that tanks have when dealing with these hull down heavies. The E5 and the IS-7 are both super keen to get the kill on the object 268 behind him. And that opens up opportunities for Fizzy to actually put in big damage on all these heavies around him. The ST1 has to cross to get a shot again. And Fizzy's now starting to bleed hit points. And this is where tanks like the 103 and the Chieftain really struggle. The big difference between the 103 and the Chieftain is the Chieftain has legitimately scary DPM for a tier 10 heavy tank. Uh, this is a tank that can absolutely bust out huge amounts of damage if given the opportunity. And its upper glacis is not an easy pen at all. And you saw that IS-7, he just could not get the gun down far enough to actually do damage to Fizzy. And Fizzy has managed to turn this into a heroic amount of damage. He is still on 20 hit points, but the E5 is going to try and crest and forgot about Fizzy. And there is 6.5k damage in the Chieftain Mark VI. So, well worth a think if you are driving tanks like this. You need to be very, very aware of where you are on the minimap. 
uh, where you are on the map itself rather than not the mini map, and what kind of cover you can put the tank into. Because if you're not using the gun depression on a turret like a Chieftain or an M103, then your armor profile is pointless. You've really got to get it into an area where it's going to be able to utilize what it's got going for it. Gun depression and a reasonable turret, and generally a very solid penetration uh, number as well. I'm Bushka. Thanks so much for watching the channel. Thanks for supporting the channel. And until next time, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.